and today on this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make some super cute little ball caps um, using canvas duck fabric these new um, B uh, mini stencil set some ink uh, this is what I made maybe three years ago I think roughly and for this one I used canvas duck I used the faith mini stencil set black ink and then we made this little roll rosette but we're gonna make flowers this time using this stencil right here and it's gonna be super cute okay so I'm using two hats that I picked up at Walmart this one is pink and this one is kind of cream color and this is what they look like they're true time true uh, time and true is the brand um, they came they were $5.97 they came from the section of Walmart where like the ladies purses and scarves and earrings and things like that are. Um, okay, so let's jump right in. We'll come back to the hats. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is start stenciling. So this is a brand new stencil from MagnoliaDIY.com and it is so cute. Now I'm going to be fraying up the edges when I'm doing words and um, so let's use this Queen Bee and then I have a fun technique to show you when we use um, the flower. So let me put the Queen Bee on here and, and I'll show you what comes in the set because oh my gosh it's so cute. If you love bees if you like bees <laughs> at all, you should get this set. Okay, so it has one that says, be kind. There's an awesome bee, which we're going to use in a few minutes. This is kind of a funky pattern. I'll show you that. Um, here's a few more. Welcome to our hive, a hive, this funny little bee, a crown, um, a set of three bees, honey bee, and then um, honeycomb. So it's a super cute set and you can do lots with it. Okay, and I'm just using black ink for purposes of showing you this one. And I think, honestly, this turns out super cute with black ink. Um, but if you wanna do it in a different color, you obviously can. So I just grabbed a little bit of the ink. The ink has a white cap. And um, the thing is, you don't want chalk paste. You don't want to use chalk paste on this kind of a hat because suppose you're outside in your cute little ball cap and it starts raining. Well, <laughs> you're going to have chalk paste running all over. Let's get this one too. And um, there's no way to really make that completely permanent. By the way, I have a piece of parchment paper underneath this just to protect my crafting table. So you need ink, and I'll show you how to heat set it in just a second. Queen Bee, adorable. I'm going to throw this over here in my tub. And here's a flower. Awesome. I'm going to throw this over here in my tub. I like to... I'm looking for a paper towel. I like to get my... Um, my uh, stencils into water pretty quick. I'm not going to let them stay there for very long because uh, I don't want them to soak all of the adhesive off, but uh, it makes it easier to clean them. So I made this queen bee and this um, flower. So let me set this aside and we'll move on to the next step. I have been busy uh, this morning getting prepared. Okay, we're gonna heat set, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing to these shapes. All right, so I'm using my iron. It is on cotton and no steam. And most of my stuff I have already heat set except for these two pieces. So we're just gonna heat set them real quick. I have a piece of parchment paper that I'm gonna lay over the top to protect my iron, 
canvas duck cloth. cloth. Yes, Sandy, you can get it at pretty much any um, fabric store. You can get it at Walmart. Hobby Lobby has it. You can order it online. It's canvas duck, D-U-C-K, cloth. And it's just a nice, thick canvas. And it does come in other colors. Uh, but I like this oatmeal one the best. I would choose one of the heavier, thicker um, pieces of canvas duck cloth for this project. So this is not going to ever be washed. It's never going in the washing machine because it would fray all apart. But I want to just make it heat set and good and permanent in case I be wearing this sometime when it's rainy. <laughs> okay, so these are hot and they are heat set. My iron off to the side, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so like I said, I did a bunch before I came live. This is a set that I did using a couple colors of ink, which um, you choose what you like. This is what I had that was kind of pinkish. Sangria. I'm not sure that color is available anymore, but they do have a wine. And then this one is called Amethyst Orchid. Okay, so that's what I used to make this. And then I tried using the yellow ink, and it just doesn't show up the detail good enough. So we're going to do this black one right here. And I'm going to show you what we're doing. Okay, I need a piece of canvas. Where did I put my pile? Hmm. I have too many things on my desk. Well, this will work. This is fine. Okay, so I'm going to roughly cut around the shape of my flower. So this is dry. Uh, the ink takes, you guys, this is so cute. You want to stay with me. Um, and you can use, use this idea to make all different styles of ball caps for not expensive at all. Um, what was I saying? Stay with me to the end because this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I just roughly cut around it and I'm going to glue it to another piece of canvas duck and I'm going to leave a little area open. Okay. And I'm going to put the glue right about where the end of the flower petals is. I can kind of see that through my little piece. So not all the way out to the edge because we're going to do something fun there. And don't don't accidentally glue the whole thing shut. So see, I still have this part open. Let's go just a little bit further. And I'm going to cut around this to get the front and the back to be the same size. You don't have to stuff these. You can just do them flat. I'll show you one like that. But they are pretty cute stuffed and on a hat. Seriously. And you know, I love stuffies. You know what? I was so eager to start this project with you that I didn't say any of my normal stuff at the beginning. Huh. I'd love to know if you're watching. Um, so say hey and uh, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to sprinkle. Those, that's the basic stuff. Okay, so I've just pulled out a little bit of fluff. It's just polyfill, nothing fancy. Where's my opening? There it is. Ooh, it's a really little hole. And I will show you this in just a second. I'll also show you what we do with the, um, like the, the words. Because each hat, for me, well, one of the hats is going to have the words, a flower, and a bee.
Okay, so I just stuffed my polyfill in there. I'm gonna push it all in and close it up. Okay, and you can kind of see where I glued. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna do, which is gonna make it so cute, is we're gonna snip just little bits all around this flower from the outside to about where that bead of glue is. I can't see, I need my glasses. I cannot wait for you to see this. Yesterday, I was asking what should we do next, and someone said stuffies, and I knew I was gonna be doing um, hats today, so I was like, how could I do a stuffy for a hat? And this idea just kind of came to me, and I, it's pretty cute. I'm gonna hold this up in just a second, and we'll show you. I'm just going to rough it up a little bit. You can fray it out, whatever you want. Um, it's just going to be adorable. Okay, and then to do our bead, I am just going to cut around him. So next I'll show you the little, um, the words, and then we will start assembling, oh my gosh. And when I'm all finished, if you want a link, a complete supply list that tells you, you know, where the hats came from, um, what kind of glue I'm using, um, just let me know, and I'll be glad to answer you in the comments. I, I know somebody's going to ask this question, am I using fabric glue? No, I'm just using regular low temperature hot glue because this project is never going to go in the washing machine. And fabric glue is more expensive than regular glue. Quite a bit. Okay, and so it's just not necessary. Okay, so I have these two pieces. And let's do the words Queen Bee. Okay, so um, I'm just going to snip and then tear. And then I'm going to start fringing it. We may trim our fringe up a little bit. Let's see. To fringe it, you're just pulling the strings. Isn't that cute? I'll save this for later. And I'll save my bee, extra bees for later. Okay, so this is what I made before I came live. I made some in this purple and pink. And here is one that is flat. It doesn't have a back on it, so it's not stuffed. Here is one that is stuffed, that needs to be fringed just a little bit. Not fringed, I meant snipped. So, you can stuff almost anything, any little shape from a stencil on canvas deck and put it on your hat. Um, and I don't know, I have never done this before. I don't know why, because I stuffed just about every other shape you could ever imagine. Just nothing for hats yet. I'm 
And the more you mess it up, the messier it's going to look. All right, so um, this is what it looked like before I did all the steps that I just showed you. Now, I don't have... Um, I don't have a, a purple bee. So this first one is just going to be the flower and this little piece that says queen bee. And I'm going to put this on the pink cap. Okay. So let me fiddle for a second and then I will show you what I'm thinking. What do you think? I think this is too big. It needs to be smaller, which is easy to do. And I'm going to trim the fringe so it's not quite so long. So you can put your little patch in the center of your hat and then stick the little flower off to the side. Or you could do this one that doesn't, um, we could possibly glue some, a little piece of the fluff in here if we wanted. That's one option. But Let's look at it in black. Let me see what I've got going on here. Okay, so this is another one that I made that says be kind. This might be cuter actually, because it would show up more. be in the center and I could put I think I like it off to the side better what do you guys think about that you could velcro them on and change them out Susie you are so smart but I'm not prepared to do that so I'm going to glue them okay so I'm just going to use um, this low temperature hot gluing device called a Sherbonder cool shot. Um, and the reason why I'm using this is because there's a good possibility that I'm going to get it on my fingers and I don't want a hot looper. Those are just absolutely no fun. Starting to glue it down, and I'm going to put a little bit along the um, brim here so it will lay sort of flat. See what I mean right there? And then I'm going to put some on the top. If this was a project that I knew would go in the washing machine, like a tea towel or a a pillow or a tote bag or a t-shirt or something then I for sure let's put that bee down there that might be adorable well I just can't decide no I think this is how I'm going to do it then I would use the right kind of glue the fabric glue but this would come completely apart uh, in the wash so I'm just going to glue part on and then we're just going to put our little bee right here I 
finish that. I have not tried this hat on yet to see if it's adjusted for my big fat head yet. But you guys look how cute that is. It's going to be super cute on the tan too. cute huh okay so here's the tan one and we're going to use the queen bee for that one I'm just gonna do that up comments if you think you are going to try this or make something like this you know maybe not with these particular stencils although these are super adorable they'll be so fun for summer I'll probably use them all summer long and then I'll put them away until next spring and then I'll pull them out and use them next summer and the summer after and the summer after and the summer after That's cute. I think that's what we'll do. This one's going to be a little different. So, let's do the queen bee part first. And I have it basically in the center. And then right along this ridge right here, I'm going to put some glue and also on the sides of this little patch. That's not going to help it lay on there nice. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Which way should my BB be flying? I think it should be flying this way. I have such a mess in my craft room right now. Oh my goodness. There's strings everywhere. don't need a super ton of glue on this because you know it's on pretty good I don't know what what could cause it to come off what do you guys think so far oh my gosh. I'm gonna do this one up here oh my goodness this is too cute Well, no, it's not tight enough, but look, is that not the most adorable thing? And here's the other one. So, I could have done this in any color with any one of those adorable um, B mini stencils. I didn't have to stuff it. I could have laid a flower on like this. Um, it's fringe, or yeah, it's uh, 
snipped, but um, but it's not stuffed. It's not two pieces. And I could do whatever colors I want. This is the one that I was experimenting with yellow, and it just doesn't show up enough. But anyways, I want to know what you guys think. So, I'm going to seriously need to vacuum in here. Let me scooch my camera back a little bit. Hopefully it's not going to decide to tip over. That is always a risk for me. Okay. What do we think? Pretty darn cute, huh? Tell me, which way do you like it better? Do you like it better with the bee down on the brim of the cap? Or do you like it better with the bee up here? I know these do stand out more because it's cream, oatmeal colored canvas duck on top of a pink hat. They kind of blend more with this one. But do you like the bee down here? Or do you like the bee up here? I would love to know. Where did I get the hats? The hats came from Walmart last week. They're in the section of Walmart where the ladies' earrings and belts and purses and scarves are. This is the brand. Time and True. And they're one size, and these were $5.97 a piece, which I thought was, these are nice caps. I'm gonna wear this one a ton. I have a, a couple of swimsuits. One is pink, so I might wear this a bunch this summer too. But let's see, are there any other questions? Um, okay, Doris says she likes the bee below. I kind of do too. So does Jane. So does um, Del Silva. And so does Deanna Dickerson and Jewel. Well, I think it's pretty um, unanimous that you guys like this style the best with the bee down here. So, tell me, are you going to try to make something like this? You could get children's hats, too, and that would be super. Oh, put a bee on the back. Oh, my gosh. Like back here somewhere? Okay, I will fiddle around with that because I have one more bee. Um, but I'll do that off camera and I'll get pictures. So, do with this. Say something to me in the comments. Where did I get the hats? The hats came from Walmart. And um, the fabric you can get, it's canvas stuck. You can get it at any fabric store. Or you can also get it at Walmart. You can get it on Amazon. It's canvas duck, D-U-C-K. It's just a real thick canvas. Um, and if anybody wants my complete supply list, I have everything that I used in this project and the sources where it came from, like the hat and all of that business. Just say complete supply list or supply list or where is the hat from or something like that and I will get you all the information. Beachy hats would be cute. Oh my goodness, Susie, I'm trying to think. I can't remember if Magnolia has any cute small. They do. They do. They have a new summer mini stencil. Um, they have one from 20, 21, 20, 22, and now there's one from 2023. 20, and I believe all three of those are available. So that would work, the summer minis. There's all kinds of, like a sunshine and um, flip flops and all kinds of cute things like that. Thank you for the idea. Oh, and I'll also include, um, when, I, um, when I send out the supply list, I'll put a link to this replay 
just to make it super easy for you so that you can um, just click on it and watch from the beginning. That's going to take me just a couple minutes to get that ready. Del says she's been making bucket hats. Ooh, that could be really cute too. You could do children's hats. Um, you could put something like this on a big floppy brim hat. The possibilities are endless. Okay, well, thanks so much for joining me. Be looking here later for pictures. And I think I will put a B on the back here as well. Um, let me know if you want the complete supply list, and I'll be glad to get that for you. Uh, so if you ask for supply list, make sure you come back to these comments to, because um, that's where I'm going to put your information in, in the response to your question. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Wendy. Okay, see you guys later. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your afternoon.